Our crew has a motto, b-boy, an art, a passion, and a lifestyle. Breakdancing, as people call it, but it's really called e-boying, started in the uh, Bronx in the 1970s by uh, game members actually. And they just used it to express themselves because they didn't have really have like money and stuff to pay for other hobbies. And uh, it went underground where it kind of evolved. Like before it was just pure style and like no basic moves, but now after uh, it evolved, in the 90s it came back up again. And now all countries, you know, Asia, like still Europe, even Africa, there's still be boys around. Club B Boy Club. Me and my friend started it our freshman year, which is about two years ago. Well, at first it was just a hobby for us, so we wanted to kind of show LaSalle basically that, you know, there's breakdancing still around, and we just wanted to do it at school too, so. I'm more style-oriented, and York and Tom are the power movers in our crew. Uh, Ted, Daniel, Jamin, Chris, they're all style heads, so, yeah, we're pretty mixed up. There's two aspects of b-boying, one's called power and one's called style. Power is what basically everyone loves to see, it's just uh, head spinning and uh, windmill, flares, 90. Basically they all just involve a bunch of power and balance and you see like a lot of spinning and they're called crowd pleasers among us. And style, which is I think is the harder side of b-boying, is basically foundation moves and how you can rock the beat. Basically, uh, I don't really care about popularity. I just want, you know, respect for my art form, as I call it, b-boy. And that's basically all I want. So, honestly, myself, I don't dance to impress. I dance to express. And most b-boys do that, so. Whenever we practice, you know, occasionally some guy will like attempt to move and you know go through with it and land it or shake it and then you know, everyone goes crazy. But it just happens, man. Beat boys, time to battle. Boom. Beat girl. That is is what hip hop is. Usually, uh, because of school and stuff, we try to practice like as much as we can, but it's like about once a week, every Friday, and uh, weekends as well. And usually we practice at my house or if we can get, like, if we can get a better place. Yeah. Uh, before, when I first started out, we just had a huge piece of cardboard and we just laid out on the cement and because like we didn't really know about b-boying and the music, how it was important. So we would just practice like on grass even. Well the cardboard we found in the in the alley is you know, just big pieces of cardboard and just like tape it together. So it'd be like one huge cardboard. Well and now we have a like more high tech version of cardboard I guess it's called vinyl. And uh, it's like pretty thick and it's good for like spinning and stuff. Well, the music is uh, the key part of B-Boy, I think, because, well, er everyone can dance, everyone can show up moves, but if you can hit the beat with your moves or if you're dancing, then... Uh, well, if we have a show coming up or, like, if there's an event where we can, like, perform, then usually we find out about it ahead of time and we just practice as much as we can and we get routines down so we can, like, dance together and kind of choreograph, but not really. 
Uh, the main choreographer in our crew, I guess, is uh, Ted, because he's just really good at memorizing steps and stuff, and, and he's our choreographer. Well, if you want to attempt it or try it, the uh, important thing is to first stretch, because you can get severely injured. Uh, I myself, have, I haven't broken anything yet, so I, I've dislocated some stuff, and yeah, it kind of hurts. Like, if you stretch, then you'll be like more flexible and able to move more easily. Yeah, well, like, when I first started, well, it was just me and York at first, and uh, we didn't even know how to do a handstand or anything, and, like, we'd never danced before, so we weren't really interested in it, but as we started learning, we got able to do a handstand, and, like, we can hold it for as long as we want now, and we learned about the music, and, like, foundation moves, power moves, so, yeah, I think we come along. Like, sometimes... I just want to quit because like, I'm not getting anywhere, but there's a point where you have to realize that even the professionals, they were all really bad at one time, you know, they all started out without knowing what it was about, and now they're pros, so I guess that's my motivation. Well, you gotta be kind of healthy, I try to not eat like, unhealthy foods, like McDonald's and stuff like that, I just try to work out as much as I can too. Well, B-Boy? It used to be a hobby, as I said before, but now it's like kind of part of my life. Without it, I'd be really bored, you know, I wouldn't know what I'd do. And basically, when I dance, I just forget about everything else, so it takes me away from stress of school, from family, from, you know, all the worries that I have about future college or whatever. So I just dance, and at that moment, it's just me and the flow. I can do whatever I want. Uh, well, Soon our uh, crew's gonna split up, like half the guys are gonna leave because they're seniors. But you know, that's not gonna stop me from breaking, and I'm sure they're not gonna stop from breaking. But I'm just gonna try to keep getting better and see where it takes me.